Welcome back. Today's tip for you, take more balls out of the air. I think we can all agree this is something that's not done a whole lot at practices and training sessions, and it's very clear in games that it's something that's not practiced. So grab a parent. All you need is another person and a ball. Grab a parent, grab a sibling, grab a friend, grab a teammate, get out in the backyard. They can toss the ball to you from anywhere. They can get real close and toss short ones to get you comfortable with using the head and the thigh and the foot in all different manners. They can back up. They can throw more balls higher in the air. They can throw line drives. They can throw hard bounces. Another option, if you have this available, is to get out to a wall, and I mean a real wall. Luckily, when I was playing, we played at behind the school where the gymnasium, the back of it was just a brick wall, no windows or anything. It was huge. We would play a lot of games on that. One game we would play that developed touch and everything else is get four or five players together, one ball, you knock the ball against the wall, the next person has to get to it before it stops, and they have one touch to knock it against the wall. You want to get the person behind you out, you know, give them a point or what have you. Another thing we did is if you knock the ball high off the wall in the air, they would get two touches so you get practice getting the ball under control and then playing your next touch. So this is something we can all agree is really important. You go out to any game, you see a lot of struggles, even just judging the ball where it's going to come down simply because you don't get enough training doing it. It's not your fault. So it's something you got to get out there and do on your own. Hopefully you're enjoying these tips. I will see you in the next one.